It happened in broad daylight right in front of a city camera. Police haven't made any arrest at this time. Tonight, people are asking, are these cameras helping police solve crimes and murders? Fox 45's Riel Creighton begins our team coverage, taking a closer look at how useful those citywide cameras are. Riel? Police tell us that in all crimes, including yesterday's shooting that took the life of that teenager, any available surveillance is always part of the investigation. But we found that there have been several crimes, even killings, in nearly the same spot. We wanted to know how many crimes exactly are the cameras helping solve. Wednesday, West Baltimore, bullets unloaded on children. One that hit a 12-year-old boy and many more that killed him. Just 16 identified by friends as Jaheem Matkins, found dead in the street. Murder broadcast in broad daylight in front of this ever-blinking blue light, a city crime camera. Criminal defense attorney Warren Brown. So often, so many of them are not working offline. Brown says he's seen many of his cases rise and fall on the quality of video from these. Some good, many fall short. I characterize their case, the clarity of their case, is being as poor as the quality of that city watch camera. Baltimore police told Fox 45 there were 850 cameras across the city. We asked how many are functioning. They confirmed likely around 8% are not working, but said the number changes frequently. How could you have a camera there? you know, the, the, the capture, whatever goes on. In August. And then not work. Outrage. This man telling Fox 45 his nephew murdered right underneath a camera that wasn't working. Meantime, back at Poplar Grove, Fox 45 learning this is a bloody stretch of street. A mile and a half long, three homicides, 86 crimes, one for every 92 feet. We also asked police how many have been solved based on surveillance here. We're waiting to hear back. Brown says what he knows is that even the city's watchful eye doesn't seem to be a deterrent. Um, the consequences don't frighten them. They don't stop and say, let me uh, not do it here because of this camera. Let me catch him another day, another time, another place. No, they, they, they just act instinctively. So what that camera captured yesterday is still unclear. Brown says sometimes those cameras pan and miss the crime entirely. Police tonight still have not named any suspects. They're still asking for any information that would help lead to an arrest.